Oh no, this is bad. This is absolutely very, very bad. What have I done? This is quite sad, but unfortunately, this is what is left of my dearly beloved, you know, Lenovo ThinkPad T480. See, the keyboard is ripped out. I wouldn't know if it's gonna work again. You know, this is a laptop I have always, you know, come to love. To see it in this condition is pretty much disheartening. It's kind of funny how things just happen. A few months ago, I made a video about the Lenovo ThinkPad T480. And in this video, I pretty much went out of my way, you know, to talk about how responsible, how reliable, how good of a quality, you know, the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 is. And for one reason or the other, this video went on fire pretty much exploded on YouTube and this video brought in a lot of viewers and a lot of comments and across all these comments one thing was pretty much clear and it was that the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 right now the way it stands is the king of the used laptops. I'm talking about new because you pretty much cannot get this laptop anymore new but these comments that came in all attested to the fact that the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 was one good laptop that was ever made and even in 2025, this laptop has not ceased to end our respect. I've always come to trust this laptop and it's pretty much my workhorse. And this mistake that happened, I want to blame it on me because a few minutes before this laptop fell down, something kind of told me that, look, take care of this laptop, otherwise it might just fall down. It is what it is. We get these kind of signals and we fail to pay close attention to it. And before you know what's happening, I tried to move this paper right here and the laptop suddenly fell down. And this is exactly what is left after this great fall. Apparently, the keyboard, I wouldn't know if it's broken totally. If there are some clips missing here, I wouldn't know until I put it on and test it out. And the screen, I'm not so sure what is left because this beautiful laptop had a great fall. And it's kind of funny because this is a laptop that I have always, you know, spoken very good about. It's not just me. Pretty much everyone has said that this is a very, very reliable workhorse. You know, this is bad. If I try to close it, it doesn't seem to close anymore, apparently, because the keyboard is out of alignment. I wouldn't know how this is going to uh, be put back in place. This is sad. One thing that surprises me is that ever since I made that video about the Lenovo ThinkPad T480, it's been one challenge or the other on this Lenovo ThinkPad T480. I wouldn't know what to call it, you know. From nowhere, the internal battery suddenly fade. And this is one laptop in the video I made. I did talk about the fact that I enjoy the very best battery life, you know, on my ThinkPad because of the combination of the internal and external battery that you have on this device. and. Yes, this was a video and a lot of people also confirmed that, you know, it didn't matter what I was doing on my laptop for one reason or the other, the battery would simply just hold up. And that was exactly one thing that endeared me to this laptop. But boom, from nowhere, this laptop suddenly presented with an internal battery problem. I wouldn't know why that was, but then it wasn't a difficult thing for me to actually go online to try to search for a replacement battery. Initially, I went online and tried to cut corners because I felt like every battery on the internet was the same. So I bought a replacement battery, wasn't original Lenovo, but then when I installed it on this laptop, it just wouldn't work. There was one error message or the other. This is the error message that it keeps showing, even though on this laptop is already you know, an internal battery, but I really do think that because it's not the original battery, this might be the reason why I keep getting this error message. It says, this is in German, battery one, the battery is not recognized. Even then, the long battery life I used to enjoy, that just suddenly went away. It was just a mess. And I said to myself, no, I think I need to do this process again. So I went back online and had to pay you know, pretty much a decent amount of money to get the original Lenovo ThinkPad T48 internal battery. And when I did get that, I installed it on it. Every problem just went away. But then this kind of stressed me because I did lose money buying the first battery that was pretty much cooked. 
and then open a laptop, you know, kind of getting into it, fixing it, only to be greeted with an error message, and then going back again to buy the original battery, you know, going back to opening the laptop again, installing it. And if you ever got to open your Lenovo ThinkPad T480, you can pretty much attest to the fact that this is one process that is really not fun. You have to really be, you know, skilled in doing this thing for you to be able to, you know, open this laptop without ruining it. And for me, given the fact that this is not one laptop I tend to open every now and again, I had to additionally break more clips on the back cover and I know the day I didn't like this process and it just brought an untold amount of wear on this laptop. That being solved, a few weeks later, the external battery decided to fail. You see, this is pretty much expected because some of these batteries have been on these notebooks for a very long time and for a battery, you know, to hold up or say two, three years is kind of impressive, especially for a notebook that is highly inoperational. There are some notebooks that you do not tend to use. You buy them, you keep them. Once in a while, you tend to, you know, go on the internet, play some YouTube videos. But believe me when I say that this laptop works for me every given day. Sometimes editing videos, listening to extended podcasts, continuously playing Spotify, and the list goes on and on and on. And most times when I use this notebook, it tends to run entirely on the battery because I have full confidence on the combination of the internal and external battery. So I tend to want to leave it to run on battery. So when the external battery decided to fail, I made absolutely no noise about it, knowing that the battery had really served me well. But the problem was that even though I had already made a very big mistake by not buying an original internal battery, I still did go ahead you know, to buy a not original external battery. I did check the reviews on this seller. Everything seemed to have been good. You know, people kind of wrote that, yes, the battery was working very well. But then when I bought this battery and put it on my laptop, unfortunately, didn't work for me. I wouldn't know where the problem is coming from. The battery wasn't holding up to what I was used to. I was already used to, you know, a laptop holding up for more than 10 hours of battery life. But in this case, I just wasn't satisfied. So once again, I had to learn the hard way I went all out, bought the original Lenovo ThinkPad external battery. Kind of sad because when you consider the price of the original battery and the price of, you know, the other kind of products out there, the difference is so big. But having learned my lesson, I want to say that, look, it's well worth it because the original battery will tend to last longer for you. You're not going to be having problems with error messages on your laptop. If this is the kind of life you want to live, you are definitely better off, you know, if you go the route of buying the original batteries whenever you have to buy them. With the new battery, everything seemed to have worked fine. And I was just kind of, you know, like telling myself, I really do hope that this is the last stress that this laptop was going to go through. But little did I know that a few days later, this laptop was going to be falling down, leaving it broken. And I'm just asking myself, what else does this laptop have to go through or to prove a point that this is a laptop that was actually made with quality in mind but this right here i wouldn't know if this isn't the end of this laptop but hopefully when i open it apart i should be able to take a look and see to what extent this beautiful laptop here the lenovo thinkpad t480 has been damaged so once again i have to get back into this laptop but for some funny reason i am becoming used to opening and closing this laptop the first time i ever had to open this laptop was when i had to upgrade you know my ram to 64 gigabytes of ddr04 ram which i pretty much did and the second and the third time i had to open this laptop was when i had to replace the internal battery and right now being the fourth time i pretty much have just figured out a way to actually open this laptop without ruining things and this device right here, somebody did tell me the name of this device, but unfortunately, I can't seem to find that comment again. But this device right here is exactly what you need to make sure that you do not ruin this laptop while trying to open it. See, I've had a lot of notebooks in my life, and obviously this Lenovo ThinkPad T480 is not going to be the last notebook I'm going to be having. But if I have to say something about this laptop, I'm going to say that, look, this is one good laptop that was ever made. And if you do not believe me, take a look at this video and take a look at the comments and you can pretty much tell that, look, the voice of these so many people could just be the voice of truth. Even though this laptop had a great fall, a fall that I pretty much said to myself, this is the end of this laptop. But then opening it up and taking a look critically, this laptop has not been ruined in any way. From what I can see here, I do not seem to see anything that has been broken. You know, the clips on the side of the laptop still pretty much looks like they are supposed to be. And the hinges are still looking uh, very uh, firmly in place. This was my biggest fear that one of the hinge 
might have been broken while the laptop fell down, but apparently this is not the case. I am so grateful for that. You see, while trying to unscrew this laptop, I kind of realized that these are the two screws that should normally hold the, you know, the keyboard in place. But while opening the laptop, these screws right here were pretty much not locked. So apparently, this might have been the reason why the laptop keyboard was able to, you know, bounce out because the last time I opened this laptop, it's very possible I had forgotten to screw on these two screws. And this might have been the reason why this has happened. But I see that nothing is broken. So I'm just gonna take a look at the keyboard again and see how I can put it in. And hopefully it was just about these two screws, you know, not being locked. See exactly what I imagined. These are the two screws holding the keyboard in place. And one thing I'm just getting to notice now is that if you ever have to change the keyboard on your Lenovo ThinkPad T480, you pretty much do not have to open all the screws in the back cover and you absolutely do not need to, to take this out. So what I want to do now is to try to make sure that this keyboard, you know, is kind of put back into place. The beautiful thing about this laptop is that you can actually get to slide it all the way down and, you know, pick this up like this and try to align it again the way it should. And then when it goes up in, I'm going to try to slide it back into place just like that. You have to be careful though, because in doing this, you can actually ruin, you know, the keyboard, right? So it appears to be fitting properly in. If anything was broken at this point, I really do think I would have found that. But right now from me just taking a look at it, everything appears to be the way it should be. So unfortunately, I had actually opened the laptop, but then I have to go ahead now and make sure everything is put back in place. Thankfully enough, the screen doesn't appear to be broken. Everything pretty much looks very clean. I see a little bit of scratch here, but I don't want to imagine that that came as a result of the fall, but so far so good. I saw the Lenovo ThinkPad you know, logo, and if anything was broken, definitely I would have seen that already. But then I have to go to the laptop now to see if the keys are actually working because sometimes something might be off. You do not tend to see that if you would not try the keys, you know, out one after the other. All right, it appears to be okay, but that's not enough. I still have to go ahead, you know, to, to editor and just try to see if, every of these keys on this laptop is actually responding you know the way they should but from what i can see it kind of looks like everything is fine i'm so happy that this fall didn't ruin this notebook because that would have really been very very bad this is a notebook that i plan to use for a very very long time and i do not have any reason to believe that these keys have been broken in one way or the other. The beautiful thing about this laptop is that these keys are so good to type on. If you ever use the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 and you immediately switch to a different laptop, the difference in the, in the ease of using the keyboard would be highly, highly fit. And this is one thing that kind of endears me to this laptop and I'm not ready to give it up for anything at the moment. Everything looks good. Touch screen is still working. If anything was broken, I think at this stage, I should have already found that out, but as it is, nothing broken, nothing out of the ordinary. My Lenovo ThinkPad T480 is still very much prepared, you know, for the work ahead. The keyboard fell off, luckily for me, no clips were broken. All I had to do was to, you know, push it back and testing the keyboard now, I see that everything still works. If this were to happen to some of the cheap laptops you have, you can pretty much call it game over because the screen is going to be broken. Something somewhere on the plastic cover is going to be broken. On the edges for sure, something is going to be ruined. But right now, this thing looks pretty much good. But then I wouldn't know because some of these symptoms, they do not tend to present themselves now. It might just take, you know, quite a while for me to keep using it for eventually these symptoms to begin to show up. But if everything stays like this, the way it looks, Everything seems to be in the best condition. Hopefully, dust stays like this. All what you see on the surface are just dust occasioned by the fall. I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much clean it up and make sure that this laptop is kind of ready again to work the way it has been working for so long. So I wouldn't know, perhaps, 
this Lenovo ThinkPad T480 pretty much has more than one life the way it seems. This is the second time that this laptop has had to go through fire and hopefully this is pretty much the last because personally, I don't have any interest in opening this laptop one more time. It's 2025 now and from my estimation, this laptop, the Lenovo ThinkPad T480, is just still gonna be around for a long time. But then, if anything changes, I'm definitely gonna come here and put you guys in the know. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, this might just be the best time to be subscribed. Click on the like button, turn on your notification bell so that you are informed. Whenever I have an update on this Lenovo ThinkPad T480 that has obviously more than one life. Until I see you again in the next one, peace.